Hey, what's up guys? I love addressable LEDs. I don't know why, I don't know what it is about them, but they're the one thing I always find myself playing with when I'm looking for something electronic to do. The uh, WS2812Bs is what I've got here. Uh, Neopixels they're sometimes called. And what you're seeing here is um, an example from the Fast LED library called the flame uh, flame or no fire 2012 it's called fire 2012 so we're going to talk a little bit about neopixels and the fast led library today the reason i had the uh the piece of paper over it like that is because you just can't see it i mean it just swamps out the camera without something over it like that a little bit so what we've got here are 60 WS2812 LEDs. This is number zero, and that's number 60. So there it goes. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, blah, blah, blah. They go backwards and forwards. Is that the best way to hook them up? I don't know. But it is the way that I hooked them up. And I hope you guys get a little something out of this today. Anyway, a couple of considerations when using large numbers of these things. Uh, the first one is current. They require a lot of current. So while I am driving these with an Uno, and if we zoom in here, you don't see any connection from the 5 volt rail over here. Now, of course, there is a ground connection because our grounds have to be connected but I am actually driving them from an external power supply. And let me show you why. Hang on here for a second. This is going to get a little bumpy. I'm using my 30 volt DC power supply to drive those LEDs. Now, as you can see right now, they're going. And this simple little library is pulling very close to an amp when they're all lit. And what we need to keep in mind is that a single Arduino pin, and as you can see, this thing's being driven by pin number eight, is only good for 40 milliamps, max. You want to generally keep it around 20, but it'll take 40 before bad things happen. So an external power supply is necessary. If we look here, this is that example um, you can see it says fire 2012 right there and it's using this fast LED library which is a really cool library because not only can it drive the uh, I'm just gonna call them neopixels okay but it, I'm that's just the generalized term I'm using for WS2812Bs because it's just easier to say neopixels so it can not only drive neopixels, but it can also drive LED matrices. And it's pretty simple to set up. We define our LED pin, the color order, the chipset, and the number of LEDs. Now we can also change here our brightness and our frames per second. So I'm not going to go into all of the magic uh, stuff that's going on here because honest to God I am not a programmer and I don't understand it but that is the flame example and we're gonna take a look at a couple others but first what I want to do here is go over and show you samples examples there we go the Adafruit NeoPixel library also this is the one I've used in the past Oops, I'm jumping off there. We'll pop that up. And you can see the NeoPixel library sets up pretty simple as well. Adafruit, here, let me make this bigger. NeoPixel strip, number of LEDs, pin, color, and that's also a frequency on there. And you can do different things as well with that. But I think 
that the fast LED library is a little bit more what's the word I'm looking for flexible I guess there just seems to be a lot more that you can do with it so let's try another one here this is one is called demo reel and we need to change our data pin to 8 and our number of LEDs again is 60 so let's um, update this to the Arduino and go take a look at it okay so this is the demo reel program running the one we just looked at and uh, it's got some pretty cool effects too now you don't have to set your LEDs up in an array like I did you could use them in a long string you could wrap them around something from you know top to bottom in a spiral I don't know what it is about them that just keeps pulling me back they're just so much fun to play with and there's so much neat stuff that you can do with them heck these would make some uh, pretty cool Christmas lights wouldn't it one last thing that we need to consider in our power usage and this is from the actual Adafruit site Lady Ada recommends that we put a large electrolytic capacitor across the power rail and the reason for that is just to keep the voltage stable so that nothing untoward happens and we don't burn these things out because while they are you know considerably low priced from the Chinese market they are you know they do cost some money so we need to be careful with them anyway that's it nothing much to learn today I'm just playing around with some NeoPixels but if you guys enjoyed it anyway give me a thumbs up feel free to comment share and don't forget to subscribe and hey if you've done some NeoPixel stuff um, write about it down below maybe send me a link I'd like to check it out I'd like to see some of the projects that you guys have done too maybe it gives me some inspiration all right cool that's it I'm out peace